Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we have learned how you can trigger SageMaker Notebook, that is Jupyter Notebook file from AWS Lambda. So I have already written this blog. You can follow this blog along with me. What and all prerequisite you want? Obviously, you want you need AWS account role because we need to create the Lambda function. In the Lambda function, we have to attach role. Lambda function should have the access to SageMaker, so we will attach permission and that IAM role that have the SageMaker full access or uh, you can configure the just uh, trigger access also so let's start so first of all what I will do I will, st I will start the I will create the SageMaker notebook first so this is my AWS account so let me go to the SageMaker console so search for Amazon SageMaker so here you can go to notebook and create notebook instance first so why I am creating this one first is because it will take some time meanwhile after that I will uh, switch to creating the lambda the meanwhile it will create so here I will just give the name you can give the name anything I can give the name as test and uh, <coughs> you can choose as per your requirement so I am just choo choosing here MLT to large or let me just choose T to medium there is no problem and uh, and create you can you can create role if you click on create role it will go to that uh, it will open one uh, wizard here and you can uh, just give the create the role accordingly what access you want but i i will go with the default role here okay and let me just create notebook because in AWS, if you are creating any service, you have to attach the role. That is, we call it service role. Uh, without the service role, you cannot access the other services. So, we need to attach the service role. So, it will take some time to start my Jupyter instance, notebook instance. So, before that, I will move to my Lambda console. Let me go to the Lambda here. So, there are many methods to do that to trigger the SageMaker so what is the requirement here is so requirement is if you are working as a ML of developer or you are working in data science or even if you are working as a data engineer so requirement is you have written some code in your Jupyter notebook you have written some code let's suppose that you want to uh, save some file into S3 you have written that code in your Jupyter notebook and you want to, to trigger that notebook whenever some file is uploading into S3 so when the file is uploaded into S3 so from there we will trigger the lambda and in the lambda we will configure we will write the the socket code web socket code that will directly connect to the SageMaker instance and that will trigger the SageMaker notebook and again the SageMaker notebook will whatever you want to do you can do it from the SageMaker notebook. So, I will just demonstrate how you can trigger your SageMaker notebook from Lambda. Okay. So, this is my Lambda console. So, let me just create one function. I will keep function name as trigger Lambda or trigger SageMaker notebook, right? Trigger SageMaker notebook. Okay. And let me give, let me select Python 3.10. And here I will not choose any role. Okay, it will create one default role. Let me create it. Okay. So meanwhile, if you go here, I have already written it. If you see for this trigger the code, I am using WebSocket, and we are creating the WebSocket connection here. Okay, if you see, we are creating the WebSocket connection, and from using the WebSocket connection, we are sending the request, and that request will run the notebook. And we have to pass the notebook path here. Along with that, you have to give the kernel uh, name and uh, how much time it will take to before timeout. So you can just copy paste this code, and you can run it. So when you want to run any import any library in Lambda. Let's suppose that you want to import JSON, Boto3 time, all those things 
all these three things is pre-built. You don't need to import. It means uh, you don't need to create the layer. But when you want to work any other library that is not provided by the AWS, then you need to create the layer. For that, I have already created the video how you can create the layers and use uh, import um, library. So you can go to my YouTube channel here. I'll post the link, but uh, I will show you where it is. If you see here, it will be somewhere. I will pause this one. Somewhere here. The install package. So I have written, I have created many videos. You can watch all this. All are uh, very important for your project. Any, I will give the link. Okay, I will give the link. Okay. So for simplicity, what I have done is already I have created the package and I have attached um, package link here. Okay, if you open this one, if you open this link. Okay, I don't want to lose that, so I will open a new tab. And so you can bookmark this page whenever you are using any library directly. You can uh, you don't have to compile it. What we are doing is we are we are comp compiling it into your local system and then you are zipping it and then creating the library. That's the matter. So what you to do is I have I have already provided the WebSocket and request. Just download it. Once you download it, then create the layer. How to create layer? I will show you quickly. You can uh, okay. So Lambda is running fine. So so, so how can you can create a layer is you can go to the layer here okay and it's very easy you can just create layer and give the layer name and I'm just giving you a web socket okay and then give the descriptions and upload the zip file okay you download it from here okay. download it from here this both and upload it so your layer will be created so I already have created the layer you can see request and web socket you give the compatible compatible library runtime as python 3.10 so once you have the request and web socket then you can go to the layer here in the lambda function is created see go to the layer click on layer and add layer and go to the custom layer and attach request okay the request add it if you have any problem while uh, cutting the layer and then you can comment it, I will surely help. And again, you can add one more layer. That is, uh, which one I added? I think I added request. I added WebSocket, so I'm adding request. Okay. I think already I have added the web request. I will add WebSocket. Okay. Add. So why I need both library because I need to do import request otherwise both it will fail. It will give me error like um, library is not there. Import is not working. Okay. So now now I will simply come here and uh, copy it, paste this code. This is very easy code. You can get it. You can just copy paste from here or you can get it uh, from Google as well. So I have just did some Google and I got it. And actually, I got it from. I took the help of ChatGPT as well. Okay, so we will also can get it. Okay, this is very easy code, and understanding also what I'm doing here is I'm just because I'm using the WebSocket to make the uh, connection and the request. This is all some kinds of a stronger version of API. I will explain what is the WebSocket is in some other video, but you can just uh, understand that this is the way to communicate with the other services so you can see i import i am importing this one import uh this socket boto3 why i need boto3 because i want to make the client of sagemaker and i created the sagemaker url first so you have to give your sagemaker name sagemaker instance name. so let let me just give what is the test is there that's fine because mine is test only and then all the things will be same. You have to just make the change here. And also whenever you are creating the file, let me just create the file first. This is first PNB, IPNB. So go to here, go to open Jupyter Notebook. And I will give the name as, okay. It is taking some time. 
okay now we'll click here and uh, click on conda python 3 so by default name will be untitled so i will give name as first whatever name is here the same things you have to pass here okay and this is common i will show you the path uh, if you go here and just uh, where i put it it's here so if i'll give here pwd it will give me the present working directory and you can see this is home user ec2 user and SageMaker. and in this path i am having first dot ipnb okay so let me just write here some print statement print my name is sumit okay so it is printing here right that's fine so i will clean this i'll go to kernel and restart and clear output so that you will not it is not nothing there okay so i will run it i will trigger it from here now so everything is fine everything is uh, set because i already added the layer but let me just deploy it first it will give me error because i have not added the permission for this lambda to access SageMaker. So if you go to the configuration tab here, go to the permission. In the permission, it will create um, by default uh, this lambda. Okay, go to this lambda means uh, no, sorry, not lambda permission. Go to the, the role name. Click on role name. Come here. It will have just basic permission. Um, means it will be create that CloudWatch uh, CloudWatch log, and but it doesn't have the permission to x permission to connect with SageMaker. so what you do is you go to edge permission attach policy in the attach policy you just add SageMaker. i will just add SageMaker full access okay for simplicity because i don't want to create a policy and uh, other things so just given the full access so now my lambda has power to connect to the sage maker okay because and along with that you go to general configuration because see by default three second for three second nothing it will just one two three it will go so because this socket will take some time to run so it will it may fail uh, your um, it will it may give the timeout error so you can just increase the time you know like how much you can increase you can increase till 15 minute but i will just give 10 okay if you just try 15 it will not give you so 10 okay just give 10 minute that's all so we are all good to run my lambda okay this is my code added layer everything's fine let me just run it just give some test event save it and run it see three second four second five foot see this success succeeded so now if you come to here and just refresh it i'm not running it i'm just refreshing it okay so <coughs> okay first okay this is first fii first okay cancel it and just let me check or, or there is one more uh, things you can uh, it already triggered but uh, let me just check what happened here so because you see first f i r s t so it is the same thing right f i r s t okay so what i will do is i will go to the kernel or i will come here and come here I create one terminal okay now you can monitor once you send the request it will show you here whether it is triggering or not so so what happen is if you trigger it now let me just trigger it again okay I am triggering it it is uh, succeeded now if come here see this request come here it means request has been sent and uh, this is SageMaker first and B. This is the warning. Okay. This is writing 111 byte to 
so this is triggered but don't know why it is i'm refreshing it why it is not showing yeah it can maybe some network problem it so let me just change it to kumar now okay kumar and let it, it is sumit only so i will just um, you have to wait for some time to save and so again i will go here and i will again i will test i will trigger it after triggering it if you come here see again this one executed right because it it took some time to uh, trigger to run this uh, uh, cell this is nothing but uh, jupiter notebook trigger command okay or uh, now if you come here and uh, where is my first jupiter here so if i refresh it i will get output as sumit kumar reload oh ho it is sumit because it is just sumit one because it, it didn't get saved so that my mistake i didn't save it to come here write sumit kumar and save it okay it will save the checkpoint okay to save it now you 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 trigger it again okay trigger it again now come here and refresh it you can check here as well see got trigger third time it is refreshing my network a little slow see sumit kumar we got it right so that's all for this video we have learned how you can trigger jupiter notebook that is sagemaker notebook from lambda so if you have any questions if you have any doubt you can uh, if you are unable to run this this code you can comment it i will surely help you thank you very much